Hey, were you up early this morning? It certainly felt like fall across North Texas with many areas outside of Dallas and Fort Worth starting out in the 50s, but with bright sunshine and the uh, low humidity, we saw temperatures climb well into the 80s, 89 from Tal Tal and Waxahachie. That was the warm reading. Rodney nicely white right 85 and uh, 85 degrees from uh, Jerry Madonna in Weatherford. Now we're going to be on cruise control here, at least temperature wise for the next several days. 86 degrees tomorrow and Thursday up to about 87 Friday, Saturday and Sunday. But that humidity still be uh, should still be kept in check here for the next few days. So uh, even rising well into the 80s, it should still feel fairly tolerable. Pollen count today high at 526 for ragweed and elm. The mold count at just shy of 5200 and your air quality was moderate. Currently 77 in Dallas, but look at Fort Worth already down to 65 degrees, low 70s in Denton and in Mesquite. Winds are light east southeast at 7 and the uh, air very dry with the humidity at 34%. So you can see many areas outside of the uh, Dallas Fort Worth urban heat island will drop into the 50s early tomorrow morning. I think lower 50s up around Paris, some of the cooler areas down in Van Zant County and Henderson County as well. And I believe that 64 degree reading you see there at DFW is up high by at least three degrees early tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow afternoon, we should see high temperatures rising into the middle 80s. Check this out. Uh, this was the scene earlier today of the Apecos River out in Pecos in uh, southwest Texas, about halfway between El Paso and Midland. And rarely do you ever see water that high. Uh, they've had several inches of rain here over the last several days, and this is a part of the country that's a near desert climate, so very unusual. Meantime, we can't buy a drop here. 0 0.06 inches of rain for the month of September. If we finish dry through the end of the month, which is certainly a possibility, we would break the old record of 0.09 sit back in 1984. So just a few high clouds floating down to our south overnight tonight. Here's our next weather maker. It's still 600 miles west of Portland, but a pretty stout area of low pressure in the upper atmosphere. Look at temperatures around the country, 66 St. Louis, 63 in Chicago and still 99 at this hour in Phoenix. So it will be a warm, dry weekend with partly sunny skies. And then that system that I showed you uh, off the coast of Washington and Oregon will slowly but surely dig southward. Another piece of energy will uh, help it uh, as we head into a Wednesday and Thursday of next week. And with just enough Gulf moisture in place, I think we're looking at at least some scattered showers and thunderstorms by about Thursday of next week. 86 tomorrow and Thursday, 87 Friday and Saturday. It'll be dry all the way up through the next seven days. But then as we head towards a Wednesday night, Thursday of next week, that's when I finally think we'll see at least a chance of some rain.